हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम सुदर्शन आई एम थर्ड ईयर एम स्टूडेंट एट बी डी लातूर एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज रूट्स ऑफ ड्रग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सो दिस विल बी द एल इन योर यू एग्जाम्स एंड व्हाट आर द क्वेश्चंस दैट आर आस्क्ड रिगार्डिंग दिस टॉपिक इन योर एग्जाम इज दे विल आस्क यू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ड्रग द वेरियस रूट्स ऑफ ड्रग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन दैट इज लोकल एंड सिस्टमिक रूट्स एंड टू टू एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ ईच रूट and after that they will ask you uh, any intravenous or subcutaneous in detail okay so first of all drug definition of drug drug is any substance that is used or intended intended to be used to modify or explore physiological systems or pathological states for the benefit of recipient so these are the important words that must be present in your definition modify or explore physiological systems or pathological states for the benefit of recipient so now we will learn the roots of drug administration they are broadly divided into two groups local and systemic roots first of all local roots there are three local roots topical deeper tissues and arterial supply we'll learn this in detail afterwards and then systemic roots the trick to remember systemic roots is pink ors si3 okay so p for parenteral i for inhalation n for nasal c for cutaneous o for oral r for rectal s for sublingual and in parenteral there are four subgroups that are si3 s for subcutaneous uh, first i for intramuscular intravenous and intradermal injection okay now we will learn one by one in detail first of all local roots in that topical is the first one so what is topical root there is external application of drug to the surface for localized action it is more convenient and reassuring to the patient examples of topical root are lotion ointment cream powder lidocaine solution applied to the urethra this is also an example of topical root sucralfit orally given for gi mucosa this is also the root of topical uh, root example of topical root okay next is deeper tissues example of this is intra articular injection of hydrocortisone acetate in the knee joint this is an example of deeper tissues and afterwards uh, there is intrathecal injection of lidocaine this is also an example next next we will go to the arterial supply third root in the topical root third subgroup in the topical root okay let me adjust this okay arterial supply example of arterial supply is intra arterial injection for contrast media in angiography and anti cancer drugs are infused in femoral artery or brachial artery these are the examples of arterial supply now we will learn the systemic roots of drug administration there is oral route so trick to remember uh, i already told you pink ors so we will go one by one uh, oral route it is oldest and commonest route it is safer more convenient painless and cheaper examples of uh, oral route are solid uh, in the solid form there there are tablets capsules powders etc and in the liquid forms there are elixirs syrups emulsions etc now next next is sublingual route the tablet or pellet it is placed under the tongue or crushed in the mouth and spread over the buccal mucosa only lipid soluble and non irritating drugs are given by this route rapid absorption is there and uh, example are gtn and oxytocin what is gtn glyceryl trinitrate next is rectal route in this irritant and unpleasant drugs are given by this route uh, this route is used when patient is having recurrent vomiting or it uh, the patient is unconscious 
Example of rectal root is rectal diazepam, endomethacin and paracetamol. These are the common examples of rectal root. Next is cutaneous root. In this highly lipid soluble drugs applied over skin for slow and prolonged absorption. Liver is also bypassed in this case cutaneous. An example of this is transdermal therapeutic systems. This I will cover in the separate video. This will be asked in your exam as a short note. Next is GTN and fentanyl. GTN means glyceryl trinitrate. And next root is inhalation. Uh, by this root, volatile liquids and gases are given. Uh, there is control administration is possible in this root. And uh, drug action is very rapid in this case. Example is general anesthetics are given by this root inhalational. Next root is nasal. Absorption through the mucous membrane of nodes. In, by this root, absorption is done through the mucous membrane of nodes. Example of these roots are GnRH uh, agonist, calcitonin and insulin. After that, the last root which is remaining is parenteral root. So, we will learn this. One second, let me adjust this. Okay. Parenteral root. Administration by injection directly into the tissue fluid or blood. This is important. Tissue fluid or blood. Okay. Now, advantages of the parenteral root. There is faster and surer action. No GI irritation and vomiting. Valuable in emergencies. Useful in unconscious and uncooperative unco patient. Disadvantages are preparation has to be sterilized, it is costlier, invasive and painful, Medica uh, medical assistance is needed, must in some times, okay. And uh, then uh, there are four subtypes of the parental root, subcutaneous, intradermal, intravenous and intramuscular. First of all, subcutaneous root. The drug is deposited in the loose subcutaneous tissue which is richly supplied by the nerves and but uh, but it is less vascular okay now supply rich hota hai or less vascular okay next uh, there is no irrit uh, ha. irritant drugs are not given by this route because uh, there is rich in uh, rich uh, nerve supplies there so and there is slow absorption due to the less vascularity and self injection is possible in this case because uh, deeper injection is not uh, needed in this case and it is avoided in shock patients who are vasoconstricted due to uh, because absorption will be delayed if we use this route in the shock patients and examples of subcutaneous root is dermojet pellet implantation in this case uh, the drugs DOCA, DOCA and testosterone are given. These are the steroids and this uh, sialistic and biodegradable implants. Third example is in this case hormones and contraceptives are given by this uh, sialistic and biodegradable implants. Next route is intramuscular. In this case drug is injected in the skeletal muscles like deltoid, rectus femoris, triceps, gluteus maximus, etc. It is more vascular and less nerve supply is there. It is avoided in anticoagulant treated patients. TT means treated patients, okay? Because it can produce local hematoma in these patients. Next route is intradermal. The drug is injected into the skin, raising a blep. This is important sentence which must be present in your answer. And the examples of intradermal root are BCG vaccine and sensitivity testing. Now the intravenous root. The drug is injected as a bolus or infused slowly uh, in one of the superficial veins. Okay. Examples of this root are only aqueous solutions are given by this root, not suspensions. And there are no depot preparation for this route. This is a very commonly used route, intravenous route. And uh, I have made a special video on intravenous route uh, because uh, this will be asked in your exams as a short note separately. So I have made this video. Do check out that video also. 
and uh, thank you for watching if you like this video do subscribe to my channel